hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridget. merry christmas i hope you all are doing well today thank you very much for joining me if this is your first time please consider subscribing is the red button down there is the red button down there and if you, if you hit on the bell sign you get notification whenever i post my video so it seems like another tragedy has happened guys this time around it happened in the US and it's a Nigerian couple. So a subscriber of mine pointed my attention to this article today and it simply says that the police in the US are investigating the death of a Nigerian couple believed to have resulted from, you know, they end each other or the man ended himself and then decided to end the wife. His name is Dr. Ben Ukibo, his wife Teresa. They were found dead in their sugar land texas home on friday morning according to police the discovery was said to have made around to be made around 10 a.m at the greatswood subdivision in a place called 1500 block of brockstone lane one of the kids died 911 the emergency number apparently there was a fight disturbance going on um inside the the home the police chief says Police said that when officers arrived, they found that the couple has died in the home. It appears to be like a potential, you know, the doctor man ended himself and then he ended the wife, then he, he decided to go ahead to buy himself. The police said that the three adults' children were also on the scene. Two of them suffered from not life-threatening injuries. Neighbors who said to have neighbors were said to have been shocked when they heard the news. One of the neighbors called Ace Walker said they were shocked when they saw police cars come up and the tapes in the neighborhood. They said the neighborhood is always quiet and the man has been seen a couple of times walking the dog. But for now, there is no information about, you know, the cause of the incident. Why did it happen? Nobody knows. The police does not know. They are still investigating. And, you know, they attend a church called Episcopal Church in Houston. This incident happened in Houston. And there was a post on Facebook uh, where the Facebook uh, rector posted that uh, that dear friends, you know, have been they are gone and it's caused a lot of grief in the community. And this is what the Reverend said. The rector said, "I'm sad to inform you that Ben Teresa Okibo died this morning at their home in Sugarland. Their sons Paul and Peter were transported to Memorial Sugarland Hospital, but have since been released." Currently, they are with their sister, Laura, in the care of their uncle, Ben Oko. The news is absolutely devastating for our Epiphany family, especially for many of our Nigerian members whose lives and hearts were touched so profoundly by Ben and Teresa. We have no good answers, only broken hearts to bring to Jesus Christ, as there is no better place for our broken hearts to be than in his care and then they went on to say that you know they are praying for the family and the children <sighs> it's a sad one again very 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 sad when i heard it this morning you know it broke my heart you can see the picture of the man a medical doctor it's not a young man this is an advanced man who seems like he's in his in his 60s he should be in his 60s even the wife the wife is a nurse See, the thing is that when these things happen, yeah, we never know why it happens. And I feel, I don't know about you guys, but I personally feel very frustrated. Because, I mean, until you know the cause of the problem, then how do you find, to, find a solution to it? You don't know the cause of the problem. They didn't come out to tell us that, uh, you know, this is what happened. They were fighting or anything. The neighbor said they, there's always been quiet. It's a peaceful place. These are people that have achieved a lot with their lives. The man is a doctor. It's an elderly man. Look at the children all grown up. What is the problem? 
and I was going through, you know, social media, of course, there was a lot of speculation, people were saying, um, but one thing that a lot of people were saying is that for the man to attack one of the child, it means that perhaps there was some problems with DNA. Allegedly, this is just allegedly, it's not confirmed, like I said, the police said they don't know, they're only investigating, but this is people speculating, because, I mean, there's no smoke without fire. What is the cause of this? Is because I'm worried, and the reason why I feel very, very frustrated about these issues is that if we don't know what is causing these problems, how as a community are we going to find, you know, a way to resolve them so that we don't hear about these things happening? In summer, it was a Ghanaian pastor. Hmm? Went to the wife's place of work, ended her. He's in jail now. Here in the UK, he was a uh, an Edo girl. The husband, she's a nurse, the husband, four children, just went and buy that girl for no reason. Now again, in the in, in the US, in Houston, another Nigerian, this are a matured elderly couple. What could have been the problem that, I mean, obviously they belong to a church, they must be, you know, well-known members of the church that they couldn't even tell the pastor, they couldn't tell any of their friends, nobody that the man can confide in. The next thing is for him to just go out there and go and get himself something. Ah. This is so heartbreaking. I'm telling you, it's really, really heartbreaking. This is becoming too common in our community. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Is it mental health issues? Because these are all the possibilities. I'm just going... In my mind, I'm just going through the possibilities. Is it mental health? Does the man suffer from mental health issues? Or is it what people are saying about, you know, speculations about DNA or no DNA? The children don't belong to, to him. Even if the children, let's say it is true, which it is not. I'm just saying, yeah, let's... Yeah. We are going to go on that route to say that, okay, let's say that the children don't belong to him. Is that enough to drive the man off the edge like that? There must be something... That has been going on. It seems like something that is building up, building up eventually, you know, it just overwhelms the person and they can't think of any other way out but to just end themselves and end their wife. What? Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm tired of sharing these stories, guys. Honestly, we need to find a solution. That's why I'm saying that we need to find out what is happening. Is it money? Was it in debt? It's just like someone that was doing very well. The wife is a nurse. He is a medical doctor. What? The children are grown. They are adults. All the three children are adults. What is the problem? How long are we going to be, you know, hearing stories of Africans who live in the diaspora doing this to one another? They are from Delta State. Both of them are from Delta State. How long? I mean, what is so serious in this life that we cannot find a way out? What's case scenario? Say, let's say they've taken everything from him. He doesn't have anything anymore. They've taken his house. This is not a question of divorce. That you say, okay, they got divorced and the man couldn't handle it. Like it's happened in the past before where the man would just go crazy and start to do things. They didn't report anything about, about any divorce or any marital problem. Nothing. And the part of it that you know, really gets to me the fact that, you know, this story, once they are reported like this in the news, we hear, oh, 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 another man in the U.S. has done this, oh, look at what he did to his wife, look what he did to himself. That's it. We never hear. There's no feedback. So it's like, he it leaves you in a cliffhanger that even you, you'll be looking for closure. You are not related to them. You don't know them. You never heard of them before. But as a human being, you're looking for closure. You want to find out what happened. What is the root cause of all these problems? I think we need to really start digging deep. Again, a lot of men that don't know how to express themselves, that just keep things bottled up. Maybe they are ashamed to speak up. And one thing I want to emphasize before I end this video, I want to emphasize the fact that as black people, as Nigerians, as Africans, we need to understand the value of therapy, counseling. A medical doctor knows this, surely. A nurse knows this. They are professionals. They know that you can go to a counselor, what you cannot tell to anybody, you cannot tell to your pastor, maybe because you are ashamed or you are afraid or whatever. You can't tell nobody else that you can pay somebody, you can go to somebody, a counselor, a therapist, and unbonding yourself and get some help. Ah. This is just getting crazy, guys. This is getting crazy. Look at the children now, three grown children. 
left in a very traumatized state. Both parents in one day. And this is like two weeks to the end of 2020. As if we have not seen enough. We've seen enough tragedy this year. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Enough. Enough of this, God. Help us. There are too many problems that people are dealing with daily. Nobody to talk to. And that is the problem I always have about this closed environment that we live in. It's so closed. You don't have any avenue to express yourself. You don't, you don't have any avenue to, 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 to vent. So things keep building or building or building or before you know, they say, this is happening again. This is happening again. What is going on? You know? I don't understand. This marriage is not a do or die affair. Men, brothers, please. It's not necessary. If you feel like it's too hard, you can't handle it anymore. Please, remember there's more to life. There is so much more to life than whatever you think you've lost or you are going to lose your house, your cars, your business, your job, whatever. God has greater plans ahead for us. Please, don't, don't, don't allow it to get to this stage. Seek help. Go and speak to somebody. I was talking, a video I did the other day and I was talking about that boy, Jorah, the, 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 the young guy. He's not even 50 yet that died in Lagos. And I was talking about depression there. A lot of people, a lot of Africans who live in that are depressed. We just live with it every day and just, you know, we just live with it every day. But we need to begin to understand mental illness and begin to seek help. It can affect the young, it can affect middle-aged people, it can affect old people, it can affect anybody. Mental health problems does not know whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are religious, you are non-religious. It can happen to anybody. But the sad thing is that there are treatments available, but if you don't open up, you don't talk to somebody, and you keep trying to deal with it by yourself, at a point, this is what happens. Ah, may they also rest in perfect peace and I pray that God will comfort the children that they have left behind as a community please let us learn to speak out and do better for ourselves and for our children there is nothing in this life it's vanity upon vanity so it's not what whatever you are planning to do any harm you are planning to do to yourself and to your spouse what for? what for? Let me say it like Nigerians would say, it is well. I'm just going to leave you here today, guys. Thanks a lot for listening and watching. And I'll speak to you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye.